Nidem, from where are you? Where do you come from? Mm. How long have you been here? I'm here for about 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. And uh, now you're in the hospital. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, according to the doctor, I have a depression. Depression? Yeah, because I don't think good. Every time I think bad. Hmm. And also, I don't have any good place to sleep. If I come to Berlin, I have to go back. And I have to walk about 12 kilometers before I reach my house. Where do you live? I live in Rifelde. Where is Rifelde? Strasbourg. Strasbourg. Yeah. And you told me something about Zillow. Zillow is the place where you are taking our visa. Where you take your visa? Yeah. That's where the house in the Bereda is. Yeah. And uh, how long have you lived in this place? I lived there about 20 years. 20 years. Uh, you asked for asylum there, yeah. and since then you've not got any asylum. And uh, last week uh, you came here, or was it this week that you came to the hospital? Yeah. This week. What made you come to the hospital? You know anything about uh, how you came here? Yeah, it was I was my friend gave me a room just to relax, and I was drinking, and. Uh, I started drinking on the third of on the third of January, and I drink about five or six cartons of beer. Cartons of beer. Yeah, and also chantre. I cannot count it. About thirty or forty. Why? The last time I met you, things looked a little bit fine with you. What made you to start drinking a lot? You also said you were uh, trying to go to church or things like that. What happened that uh, you so abruptly started drinking? Yeah, because uh, my problem is I used to get a bad dreams, you know. Mm. And the moment I got a bad dreams, I started making noise. Dreams, uh, uh, when nightmares. Yeah. yeah, when you're sleeping. Yeah, when I sleep in the night, I used to see many, many things mm. on my eyes, whereby it was supposed to be. So, so how did you uh, come to meet the people that you met? It was because you know there was action in the uh, Oranian Platz, or what made you to come there? Because I heard that you came there. That's when I came and met you. I, I called from Julia. Julia. Mm. I don't know his office. Her office. Mm. So Julia called his sister to come and pick me from Peter Bogastrasse. Peter Bogastrasse? Yeah. And you were sleeping there or? Yeah, sleeping there. So that's the place where this lady came and picked me from there. And then uh, from there they took me to the camp and then they called you. And then they took me to hospital. And in this place, you were uh, staying there with a friend or with whom? It's not a friend. It's just a friend gave me a room. A room there to be yeah. staying there. And you also told me you had a job that you were doing and you cannot do this job anymore. I cannot because the thing started from the job place. The sickness started from the working place. From the working place. Yeah. So you could not... Uh, uh, so you're trying to say that part of your problem, uh, that you feel sick, the, all the dreams, is just... Uh, the isolation in the uh, Rayfield and the whole long time that you've been in this place. Yeah. All the problem come from my because I don't see the reason why I can stay someplace for 20 good years. And also, the training we used to go to the village, it closed at 9 o'clock. When 9 o'clock passed, we cannot get train again unless we walk about 20 kilometers, sometimes 6 kilometers, sometimes 14 kilometers because it's not one way. Sometimes I walk through the railways. Yeah, the doctor said, uh, okay, he also said I have a depression. Mm. Yeah, I have mental problem. That you have mental problem? Yeah. But did he also say why he thinks you have mental problem or because you tell him you have mental problem? No, he told me and I, I 
asked me why 18 comes. Mm. And I said, because I'm here 20 good years, nothing goes on. Even German, I cannot speak German. I cannot work. And when you come back to Berlin, police control you. You have to pay a debt. And now I have a lot of debt to pay. Whereby I didn't commit any crime. Mm. So uh, you have a lot of debt to pay because of the different situations that you have yeah. coming to Berlin, for example, yeah. and if you're controlled, uh, it becomes a problem. Yeah. And your land crisis in Brandenburg, yeah. and uh, actually, normally there's supposed to be a law that says Brandenburg and Berlin, refugees can go there and come back, but each time they control, you still have to pay money. Yeah. That's how they do yeah. now. And you cannot work, you cannot go to school. The work you were doing was just because of uh, friends that uh, got in contact with you, yeah. And uh, so what would you wish for yourself? What would you want to do? No, I don't want to go back to the village again. You don't want to go back to the village again? And uh, you think if you're here and you have many people as friends, uh, you can, your situation can get better? I think so. Mm. And uh, you said you have uh, bad dreams and uh, things like that. Uh, have you? told anybody about such dreams or do you have people with whom you talk when you go to the village or no i just talked to the the doctors but i didn't tell anybody mm. really you talked to the doctor yeah in your village yeah no but before in your village do you have yeah. any doctors that you meet or yeah and what what did they have what did they say well they didn't say anything they said they were Normal, mm. but I know that it's not normal because I used to see something on my eye. I used to see something on my eye. Mm. If I sleep, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep at all for past so many years. 